Nope. Come nope. on, Jimmy. Nope. nope. Come on. We'll do it in something else. No, mate, no one wants to see you do it in the VL. I'm not doing it in that. It Tick. is a 37 year old antique. Yeah, but you said you were going to start every episode with a burnout. I don't know if I strictly said that. I said, you, I, you, I, said I'd do a burnout. That's what you said. What, Come on, on Jimmy. Then. Come on. I'll do it in the highlights. No, I'll do, do it in the. I'm not the... doing it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah, you're happy? Yeah, I'm very happy. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> Yo, welcome back. We're getting cones out. You know what that means? We're back at the Funway. If you haven't seen a Funway episode before, it's where we get a couple of cars, put them around our test track, talk to you about them, chuck them down a quarter mile. And uh, today we've got a heck of an episode because we've got the best Holden from the 20th century here and the best Holden from the 21st century here today. We've got a Holden Astra coming. Astra is definitely not the best Holden. Good cars, man. People will be offended by that. Uh, so, Holden fans, big episode for you today. Come with us and let's have some fun. Hey ah, that was going on top. I feel like a farmer standing like this. King of the 21st century for Commodores is obviously the VT. Just kidding. We've got the VF here and this one's a clubby R8. Brucey, ah. come on. Yes. All right, clubby. Look at this. And look at this. What are you going to show me? I'm going to show you power, mate. Harrop 2300 blower, Higgins head. It's a big boy. Cold air box. This was a 2015 build, is that right, Jimmy? 2015, it is. Okay. There was a beautiful. There, there was an option for the LSA, Sheamus. which was a factory blower, except the blower on the factory was only a 1900cc, not a. So this is even better than an LSA. This then. is better <laughs> than the LSA. Maybe not internally, but the blower is bigger. It probably makes more power. Wicked. Definitely makes more power. This is going to be a handful. The owner of this vehicle said 600 horsepower and 1250 horse torques. So that's at the wheels, Jimmy. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit, a little bit scary. What else do we know about the R8 compared to a normal VF? Better mm. dash and stuff like that. It had some really amazing, R8 comes up on the dash and has all like the engine revs and stuff on the screen. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got the, um, it's got the big diff in it, the true track diff. Oh, all he's got a true track in it as well? true track diffs in it. Oh, sweet. Yep. Bigger and the, brakes. And the brakes are enormous. They're like dinner plates. What a weapon. So you've got Beautiful. leather interior, electric everything. And um, the difference with the HSVs is they had their own, they had their own styling pack. So the lights were different, the body kits were different. HSV the and the lights. The exhausts were different. It's got the beautiful stitching through all the, the seats and the trims on the dash. And, and uh, like pa paddle shifters, which is pretty unique for a, an Australian car. Boo, 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 boo. You sunk my battleship. It's, it always does my head in that this is a Holden. Like it's just weird. Flappy paddles, big LCD screens. It's just bizarre. Holdens were never, I don't know. I do always just think of Bunky when I think Holden, but this thing's just mint. Do you want to feel old? What? This thing's eight years old now. Ew. And do you know what the owner of the car told me this thing does? What? Skids, skids. That was quick, but no, it parks itself. What, reverse parks? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yep. Heads up display. It's a Commodore and it park. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Don't Commodore. say Commodore. Don't say call Commodore. it Commodore. Yeah. It's a remanufactured Commodore. <laughs> Are you allowed? I don't, we're going to make a lot of people angry saying stuff like that. Hey, Jimmy, mm. at the end of the day, do you know what this thing's not going to have? Not going to have? Not going to have. What? Tyres. Only one more thing left to do now, which Time. is drive it. Time to drive it? Yes. I keep the key so he can't drive it. Ha ha ha. Not today, Jimmy. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Rock, scissors, paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old reliable rock. Every time, how does he do it? <laughs> Windows up. We're in the VF Clubby for a lap. This is going to be a massive handful. Uh, just under 600 horsepower, I think. 1200 newton meters of torque. You ready to go? All right. In three, two, one. Let's go. We're off. Oh man, that 
sand seat. Wow, that's a weird supercharger wine compared to the other VF we've had on. whole lot of poo came out there. It's like, you don't want to touch the throttle over like a quarter, because this monster just jumps forward. I'm lost for words here, I'm stuttering. Special. I don't want to be near this car anymore. Poo all over his seat. It's not good in there. Don't go in. <laughs> I left poo on the seat. <laughs> all right. What time do you reckon it's going to do? Ah, oh, Jimmy, white power. Look at this thing. I don't think you're allowed to say that. Oh, uh, what I'm thinking, fair. it won't get traction down because it's got too much power. So I'm going to say 13 seconds because we've had a VF on before. Oh, 700 horsepower. I'm going to go at 12. I think it's going to do a 12 easy. Because it'll get it down. I'm okay. driving. Ah, oh, damn it. No. no. If the king of the 21st century is the VF, then the king of the 20th century, come on, it's the VL, specifically a Calais Turbo. An OG, original factory turbo Calais all wow. bog stocky. You can't call yourself an Aussie car enthusiast if you haven't either, either owned a VL or know someone that owns a VL. That's a fact. That is a fact. Yeah, actually, prove it to you. Wait, right, Donk, have you owned a VL? Yeah. Uh, Bellina, have you, owned, have you owned a VL? Yeah. I did have a VL, an executive. T Roy, have you had a VL? Sure have. Hi Viz, you had a VL? Calais Wagon? Beck, have you had a VL? No. All right, let's have a look under the bonnet. I will let you... It opened! You can operate this vintage latch, but yeah, I don't we... want to break it. So, geez, she's clean. Tell me about what we're looking at here. It's an RB30, obviously. RB30, the older brother to the RB20, RB25, and RB26. What happened? Holden just weren't doing very well with their own motors, so they went to Japan and got a Nissan motor. That's more or less what happened, right? Yeah, well, well, it was because the base holder motor that was in the VK, the model before this, was ancient. It had been around since the 48 215 in various configurations and capacities. This is like going back in time looking at this thing. It is. What? What's this? That's the intercooler. What's, hang on, what? That's the intercooler. Watch, I'll show you. Look. Genuine Holden manual. Air to air intercooler. Right there. It's an intercooler, apparently. There's nothing in it. It's just fins on a pipe. Hilarious. Doesn't wow. even have a scoop directed at it, so. <laughs> wow. Yep. Some fun facts for you. The Calais came with cruise control. C. And it came with a boot pop. C. 
and it came with Venetians. C. And it came with power windows. C. Freezing cold air conditioning. C. Electric aerial. C. A futuristic tape deck. C. And a turbo badge. C. You didn't have to do that. And the Calais got these amazing pop-up eyelids. C! <laughs> All right, let's rip it for a lap then. It's the oh, last thing to do. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna go so good on the straights. She might wallow through the corners being an old girl. That's but a good word for yeah. it. <laughs> Veal turbo, lap. Crack the windows, cause it's hot as in here. We'll just put it in D, cause it doesn't have any super special sports stuff. All right, let's get this lap done. We're off. Man, this thing goes good for an old car. I can hear flutter. Alright. Time to stretch your legs. I'm just imagining if I clip one of these cones, how many millions of dollars it's going to cost me to fix. I feel like I'm drunk in a limousine. This pulls up real well. Going further into the corner, almost lost it. How'd she, how'd she go, mate? Well, not one of the best handling cars in the world. Let's just say that. Picks makes up for it on the straights, goes great, but wow, what a boat. It's built for comfort, not speed. Yes. Well, got a little bit of speed, but yeah, not for a, a circuit. It's, um, What's that Fast and Furious where they turn up on motorbikes and that Asian dude? It's um, not Jun Tao. Is it Jun Tao? No, 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 that's Rush Hour. It's um, SWAT came into my house. What's that guy's name? Oh, I swear there's a joke there. Come on. Oh, the beauty. Classic lady. My favorite car of the show so far. I was going to smack it and then I better not because it costs like a billion dollars. What do you think her. this will do down a quarter? I think this thing's going to do a mid-15. She's stock. She's original, apart from an exhaust. Is that right? Yeah, it's got a three-inch exhaust. If we keep the headlights down, it takes a full second off your quarter mile time. Everyone knows that. That's not the only thing that's three inches around here. <sighs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> quarter mile time for factory bog stock VL Calais. Here we go. end of the day and for a bit of fun we thought we'd race the VL versus the VF to see what 30 years of technology difference looks like. As you can see it's sprinkling so we're going to do a rolling start. Another massive day at the Funway is done. 
Two of Holden's heavyweights came here today. So cool. If you liked it, like and subscribe. If you didn't, then don't. Is that all we got? Yep. See you next time. No, no, it's on. No, that now is not the time. It won't start. This is why I said, let's not use the 37 year old antique to do the donut at the start of it. It's gonna cost like a bajillion, gajillion dollars to fix now. I am never gonna financially recover from this. Maybe someone's taken something off it. What do you mean? Hey, Jimmy, yeah. you try putting this back on, mate. Playing games uh -huh. now, are we? <laughs>